Crusader Caravans in Campbellville, Victoria. Today, in one of our handover tutorial videos, we're going to be showing you how to use the Dometic Slide Out Kitchen. Across the range of Crusader, we supply a multitude of kitchens. Probably the most popular we're seeing is either the Swift Appliances Slide Out Kitchen with a lift lid barbecue and little sink bowl with hot and cold water, or alternatively, the SKS 101 Dometic Slide Out Kitchen. It's a smaller of the two units. The other unit that we offer is an SK 102, I believe, which is the larger unit, which features a little bit of an extra chopping board off the side. Um, both are considerably an awesome unit for outside cooking and something that a lot of customers are going toward. Keeping in mind as well, we offer things like slide out toolbox arrangements where you can have it just a Weber Q, but if people want to have that hot and cold water option or you're cooking fish out on the outside of the van, it's something that we offer um, on all of our models and it is exclusive and something that we do with all of our range that we offer. So I'm going to show you how to be able to pull this out. We're going to do a bit of chop and changing, but straight away to highlight within the uh, product before we open this, we've got our gas tap, hot water, cold water. So our pump is currently on and the water is nice and warm from the gas heating uh, that we visited in one of our other tutorial videos. So we're going to open this guy up. Um, the hoses, when it comes initially from Crusader, it actually comes with a, a hose sleeve. It's a little fabric bag that we make up just so it doesn't mark or scratch the floor or mark any of the actual hose lines themselves. But for the purpose of this demonstration, we've actually taken it up just for a nice, easy hookup prior to the customer delivery. So we have two little grab handles just here left and right, and then the whole kitchen will actually come all the way out and lock into place just there. So um, we just had that kitchen out prior, so uh, the hoses are loose. As I said, they would have been held up prior. So straight away with our cook, before we actually kick it off, we've got our sink with a plug. We also have our waste pipe here that you can connect up to the unit that will run out of the unit. We have a chopping board, of course, this comes off. We have a large burner, medium burner, and small burner. Very, very easy to use, uh, providing the gas is active. That just lights up. Very, very easy to fire away and very easy to be able to pop a, fry, a frying pan on that unit as well. But we haven't hooked up the gas or the hot and cold. But what we're going to do, uh, we're going to jump down here and we're gonna get all of our hose connection pipes. We're just gonna get these little units here. So we're going to jump back in just a second after we take off our little protectors just now. We've got all of our protective caps off for it to be able to actually travel so you don't get any of that dust up through the pipes. We're gonna get our hot water and we're just gonna screw it on nice and easy. So some customers have rigged up quick fill fittings on these, but we like the screw in fittings because it's got that rubber suppression washer that keeps all the water from actually leaking when we're using the unit. It's a relatively easy concept, but it's just um, nice and easy, nice and tidy. We like to keep all the external water out outlets external, um, just to make sure that we don't have any water ingress or you actually leave a tap on or anything like that. It just means that um, it's a lot easier of a system to be able to utilize. Put that into place. So gas is hooked up, hot water, cold water. We just need to pop him on now, pop him on now. Nice and easy, we've got no water leaks whatsoever. These here are just cable tied up. So then we can go to our actual kitchen. So straight away now, providing the gas is on at the gas bottles, we just turn our little knob, activate the gas coming through, fire up. That's gonna light up now. So right now we've got our hot, we can start popping the pans on that. That's a rearing heat, so very, very easy to cook off of. So we'll keep him nice and off now. Then we've got a cold water and hot water. Very, very easy to use. So as far as external cooking goes with Crusader, there's nothing easier than having a slide out kitchen option. So the most important thing with one of these tutorial videos, besides just the general hookup, is we want to highlight a few things. One, this is a fantastic unit brought out from Dometic. Second to point as well is, it's really important that the cleaning of this unit happens on a regular basis, so that way the buildup of excess um, excess dirt or anything like that with the unit, because this is an outside cooking unit, that you don't have any of those buildup of smells or grease or anything like that. As far as packing the unit up, it's important to be able to actually make sure that you turn the hot and cold taps off and then we bleed the line of water to be able to make sure nothing comes through. We're then gonna wanna actually unscrew this unit just like here and like so. We then wanna act dis uh, disengage the uh, gas. So we just push it up and turn and pull out. We then pack the leads up into itself and they go back into the slide out kitchen area. Again, we have that little carry bag that if we had the time and patience with the video, we could also actually just pop that back in there to be able to make sure that all the floor is protected. But this fan's shortly ready to go out for handover, so we're going to make sure the customer does that himself, so that way they're fully aware of their obligation and uh, the best way to be able to keep this storage kitchen looked after. 
Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or queries, please give us a call on 9359-2938. Head to our website for more of our tutorial videos at www.crusadercaramansmelbourne.com.au or alternatively, like and subscribe for more. Thank you very much.